very beautiful narration, a very beautiful incident that happened many thousands of years ago involving a Christian monk by the name of Juraj. George as we say in our times, but Juraj is the classical name. This Christian monk, as was the custom of the monks of old, had cut himself off from society and would worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly. And they would cut themselves off from this world, wear the worst of garments, cut themselves off from any enjoyments and pleasures. It so happened that his mother, who was an old lady, needed him for some chores, for some help in her house. So she came to this monastery. She could not enter the monastery because the fiqh of the previous uh, nations before Islam did not allow women to enter the holy place. So the not allow women to enter the called out and she said, Oh Juraj, I need your help. Come to me. Juraj was right at that time praying. He thought to himself, Oh Allah, should I prefer my salah and continue or should I respond to the call of my mother? Juraj continued in his salah and ignored his mother. The second day his mother came again. Once again he was standing in prayer. Once again he said, Oh Allah, should I choose my mother over my prayer? I'll choose my prayer. Thinking that this is piety and righteousness. For the third time, the same incident happened. Juraj once again continued in the salah and neglected his mother. And his mother then became enraged. Three days in a row she wants help from her only son. He's not coming out to help. And so in that anger, she makes a dua against her son. And as you know, the dua of the parents for and against their children is accepted. So she said, Oh Allah, make sure Juraj never dies until he sees the faces of prostitutes. Meaning, make his reputation go to nothing. Allow him to be seen with prostitutes. In her anger, this is what she said. Allah Azza wa Jal responded to her dua and it's one of the beauties of the incidents, and also saved Juraj's reputation at the same time. So a prostitute offered herself to Juraj, and Juraj ignored and neglected her. So in her anger, ignored and neglected her, people and said, do you want me to seduce Juraj and get him into trouble? And they said, yes. So she plotted and planned, but Juraj remained immune to her temptations. When she could not find a way to Juraj, she got pregnant with another man, a shepherd, a farmer, and she then claimed to the townspeople, this is the child of Juraj. So the townspeople got so angry, even though they were the ones, this is the way how people are, Udhu Billah. They want to see some action. They were the ones who enticed the prostitute as well. When the prostitute is successful, they now take their anger out on Juraj. And so they went to his monastery, and they broke it down, and they destroyed it, and they started beating him with shoes and sticks, and stoning him, saying, how could you do this Juraj? Juraj said, what? What did I do? They said, this prostitute has accused you of fathering her child. And so Juraj immediately remembered the dua of his mother. And he said, this is the dua of my mother happening in front of my eyes. I have been accused of doing this immoral deed. He said, allow me to pray two rak'at. So he prayed two rak'at and then he poked the baby and said, speak, who is your father? And so the child, one of the few babies ever to speak in the history of mankind, the child said, my father is the shepherd. And so when the people saw this, they apologized to Juraj and they saw that a miracle had occurred and they said, we will rebuild your monastery with gold and silver. No, build it with mud and sand as it was and let me continue in my worship. Even though Allah Azza wa Jal accepted the dua of his mother, he also saved Juraj's reputation in the end. Both came out victors if you like. But the point that I wanted to, to really emphasize here, in one narration of this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, رَحِمَ اللَّهُ جُرَيْجًا لَوْ كَانَ فَقِيهًا لَأَجَابَ أُمَّهُ May Allah have mercy on Juraj. If only he had been a faqih on Juraj, only he had knowledge, he would have responded to his mother instead of continuing in the prayer. He would have saved himself all of the hassle if only he had knowledge. And this is one of those ahadith, there are many others. One of those ahadith that proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that the knowledgeable scholar far exceeds the status of a continual worshipper. Here is Juraj, fasting, praying, reading, dhikr, cut off from the world. 
But in his worship, he didn't have knowledge. And that was to his detriment at the end of the day. Even though because of his knowledge, Allah Azza wa Jalla saved him from those evils. Yet another indication of the superiority of knowledge over acts of worship, even though acts of worship are of course blessed and holy, but of the holiest acts of worship after the Fala it is Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah.